What are your thoughts on Charlo? He's gone. See you later, man. Done. I think he's going to retire. That's my, my thoughts. Welcome to the No Limit Boxing Podcast. We are back for another week. It's been a big week, this one. We've had uh, a lot of exciting announcements happening. So, um, obviously, Liam Wilson fighting Oscar Valdez over in Arizona. Really good news for us. We've got a lot more fight announcements coming up. But the biggest, biggest fight announcement that we've had uh, in the last week, Tim Zhu fighting in Las Vegas versus Keith Thurman. And we're lucky enough to have Timmy here today. So, um, how exciting. Keith Thurman, Las Vegas, we're doing it. <laughs> finally, eh? It oh, doesn't get any bigger. Man, unbelievable. I, I know how excited I was when we finally got it locked away. And, mm. um, and then to be able to see your reaction when we, when we had the call. And, and, Did um, you see the video? Uh, your video? Did you see the video? Loved it, loved yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Loved it. No, it was, it, was a pretty, it was pretty special. I remember as soon as I... I remember the couple months leading in, I was just anxious. I was ready. I was... I don't know, it's just been, it was a long process in the making. When I finally got the news, it was, yeah, it was exciting. I know we're, um, we're a long way down the track with, with guys like Lubin and a few others. Lubin would have been a, a great fight, an exciting fight and a good mm. entry to America, but I think someone like Keith Thurman. Nah, um, this is fireworks. 100%. This is next level, yeah, this is fireworks. And uh, the whole spectacle about the, the Amazon Prime deal, um, Vegas, it, it, like it doesn't get any better. Like this is this is the proper way to do it. Well, first Australian-born fighter to headline a US pay-per-view, yeah, and you're yeah. doing it for the opening of Amazon. Like how cool is that? <laughs> That's like, what I'm saying. It doesn't know, get better. It, it, for, for you, the journey to get to this point, you know, is this something that you were thinking a few years back down the track? I mean, if we're talking, um, go, you're no mm. limit journey. So from when you came with us to, yeah. to where we are now. Well, look, I started calling Charlo out after the Jeff Horn fight, so I've been chasing, chasing those type of fights uh, for a long time. Uh, but to say, to picture it like T-Mobile Arena, that type of debut and um, the, whole, the whole spectacle about it and, and the undercard and who I'm in front of, it's, it's special. There's a few good fights on that undercard. Exactly. Is there anyone that you like? Yeah, the, the Romero and uh, Cruz. I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. Who do you reckon gets that one? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm a big fan of Cruz, actually. I yeah. think he's a... He's, he is a pit bull, bull. Yeah, he's an actual <laughs> pit bull, you know? So I think that'll be an interesting fight. Yeah. Uh, who else is on the undercard? Um, there's, there's a few other world title fights on the undercard. Yeah. We've got Michael Zarafa on there. I don't worry about him. He's got his world title shot. He's, he's, he's up on the, the 6 a.m. slot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think his chances are in that fight, though? I reckon he's got, I reckon he's got good chances, in, in, in all honesty. The bloke's 40 years old, hasn't fought for, for a long time as well. So, um, you know, if you can't beat a 40-year-old, then it's time to retire. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a it's a big weekend of Australian boxing. Obviously, you've got that title fight. You've got your fight headlining Amazon. We've also got Liam Wilson. Yeah. Uh, the night before yeah, fighting yeah. Oscar Valdez. Yeah, yeah, and that's a, that's going to be a spectacle as well because those two are fireworks. Oh, Valdez, you know, he he brings the the heat and. Same as uh, Goodman, he he brings the heat as well. So that's going to be fireworks. Yeah. Well, look, it, it's um. He's heading back to the same same place that he fought Navarrete, eh? Liam yeah. Wilson. So it's um it's somewhere that he's familiar with. Yeah. Hopefully good memories this time. Good memories. Yeah. That's what good. that's what yeah. I like to good hear. Good vibes. <laughs> um uh, look, so your your fight with Thurman, what do you what do you know about Thurman? You know, what's what's your history there? Uh I've seen him go throughout the ranks throughout the years. Uh he's fought the, the very best. He's, he's, he's won them all, except for one. Uh, yeah. That was a close fight, though, too. Yeah, split decision. Yeah. Uh, so it was, it, was, it was a close fight. Uh, I helped Manny Pacquiao prepare for, for that Thurman. Fight. Yeah. I got the call 2019. Uh, I was supposed to be moving in with the missus. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I got the call, Manny Pacquiao wants to, to spy us. I was like, ah, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I knew what I was going to do. <laughs> um, so we went, uh, yeah, I went over to, to spar Manny Pacquiao. I was supposed to, uh, 
I was supposed to fight like Thurman, uh, throw certain hooks, and so I, you know, I was researching him, having a look at how he was, uh, how he was fighting to, to just imitate him for for Manny for for a couple of weeks. Uh, four years later, down the track, me and him fighting now uh, at the at the T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. It's it's unreal. That's crazy. Yeah. Has much changed, you reckon, for him in in that time? Do you reckon he's still got the same style? So you've got to. Yeah, I think he's got the same style. Uh, but the only problem he's facing is he's never fought anyone like me. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree with you that Thurman much. down in six. Going back. Hey, <laughs> I like that. Just going back to the, the Pacquiao camp, what was it like training with, with guys like Pacquiao? Oh, it was, it was just cool. You know, it was just a cool experience. Um, at the time, I was, I was uh, prepping for Dwight Ritchie. Uh, may he rest in peace. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was prepping for Dwight Ritchie, so I couldn't continue on the camp because Pacquiao's a southpaw and and uh, Dwight was a complete different, complete different style. But the whole three weeks, unbelievable experience. Just in the presence um, of Manny was was pretty cool. You've been lucky enough to switch up your training a little bit over the past years. You, I, I, I often speak highly of you as the the um, the most disciplined athlete in Australia, yeah. the hardest training athlete in Australia. That work ethic, where does that come from, and, and what have you been able to learn from other camps that you've been a part of? I think just I think years and years of just grinding, um, just discipline. I think uh, getting up every morning and, 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 and working towards a goal, and keep those goals, keep on reaching high. You know, like wow, when I fought Jock Hamaliri, the goal was the Australian title. Four years later, it's it's changing. And it's it, and it's always revolving and it's all always evolving. So yeah, just keep I'm um, keep chasing those goals. That's what allows me to to keep performing, to keep training, to to keep staying disciplined. Chase them goals. So which what's your goals now that you that you're chasing? Well, because I've got a hit list now. You could, you know I feel like I'm John Wick. I've got this hit <laughs> list. <laughs> I've got this hit list, and um, right now the goals are just tick them all off. Are you going to share that hit list with us now? Who, who was the, on the list? Uh, the next one's Thurman. Um, Errol Spence is in the mix. What do you um, think about Errol Spence? I think he's, he's a good fight. Um, very intriguing fight for me because uh, he never thought nothing of me and I really want to prove that to him. Uh, that, you know, this, I am the real deal. Um, he actually then, bet against you too, didn't he? On he's the, lost twice now. Twice you now. Know, he's, he's losing money, so... Um, yeah, who else is there? Terence Crawford, uh, Charlo, the little pussycat. I, I, I wish I could get my hands on him. And um, and, I'll, and the big deal is uh, Canelo, man. That's that's the big goal. Yeah, that's yeah. the top of the tree. Yeah, <laughs> that's the man. Yeah, well, he's the face of boxing, though, right? For the show, right? Yeah, hundred percent. He 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 runs the sport, and uh, he's got the accolades behind it. So you've been lucky enough to, to headline on US TV three times in 2023. <laughs> um, three big fights, three yeah. great, great performances from yeah. you. How did you see your, your year for, for 2023? It was good, but 2024 is the year. <laughs> 23 is behind, it's past, it's gone. It, yeah, good, it, it's, it, it did its job. But I'm looking forward to the present and the future. I like that. And, and you got people talking too, didn't you? You had, I mean, even when Terence Crawford's talking about yeah. um, coming up to 154. Yeah. There's that's, no one that's, else that's in That's what I wa always right. wanted, you know. It was, for me, it was like, everyone's always chasing these. Well, I want to get a world title. All right, I got a world title at home. It's, it's cool. Yeah, but it's, it's, I don't know. It's not fulfilling, you know. Yeah. I want just the big names, the big fights. The, the Vegas type status, the multi-million dollars. That's, that's, that's what I feel like boxing is all about. 100%, I agree with you there. Yeah. And it's about creating history too, right? So yes. nobody else has done, no other Australian great fighter has done what you're about to do. Legacy. In March. Yeah, legacy. Legacy, I feel like belts are political, but legacy and, and fighting for, for uh, just, uh, those big names is, is, is what I want. So Crawford is seen as a pound for pound guy now. If he comes up to 154, what do we see with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to take on all challenges. What do you like about Crawford? Everything. What isn't there to like? He's, he's got everything. 
he's got the tools for his IQ. He's, he's smart, um, good puncher, breaks breaks people down style, uh, very tactically. Um, he's got everything: speed, switcher. He's, he's very nice to watch, and that yeah. performance against from his last year, one hundred percent, unbelievable. Yeah, one hundred percent, unbelievable. It's a pretty cool walkout too. That's goals, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's goals, you know. Don't worry about belts. That's goals. Yeah. <laughs> Walking out with them and them. <laughs> well, look. I, see, I, I love, I love your walkouts, I, and, yeah, I, and yeah. I always have. I thought that, that um, you know, even now, seeing a photo of your walkout. Look, I just got yeah, goosebumps. Yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get goosebumps look at, look at this. Of, of your walkouts, <laughs> and, and we. Don't, I feel like we don't see that a whole lot anymore. Is yeah. There, um, you know, for me, your walkouts are really memorable. How? Yeah. Are, how have you found them? What's been your most enjoyable walkout? And uh, most enjoyable one? I guess everyone's different. I like the Harrison one where I think I got up on, yeah, the, on, yeah. on the, and then the flames and, and the crowd was going pretty crazy. That's pretty, pretty special. Um, yeah, I'd say the Harrison one. That was, was pretty crazy. But you know what? The Dennis Hogan in Newcastle, yeah. that was lit up. You know, <laughs> those those fans were nuts. Yeah, they were yeah. crazy. Newcastle's a good crowd. Yeah, yeah, Newcastle was crazy. Now, what happened on that one? Didn't we? We nearly lost you before the fight on that one too, didn't we? When the fireworks? Man, I remember I'm walking out, and it was that hot. I was dying from the heat. I told my grandpa I'd grab a, uh, like all this water and just pour it all over me because I'm I'm about to pass out from this heat. <laughs> and then I went to, to you guys after and I said, no more fireworks, no more fire, it's too much. <laughs> it did look cool though. Yeah, yeah. It looked cool. It, it, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. It's not cool if, if you don't make it to the <laughs> exactly, ring. Exactly, yeah. yeah. We, we can't have that happening. <laughs> look, I, I reckon you've set this set the standard for walkouts in, here in Australia. <laughs> There's been some cool walkouts across the years. Yeah. Um, is there anybody uh, that you've enjoyed their walkout or, or uh, uh, any, any memorable ones? We've seen um, Tyson Fury come out on the throne. Even going back to Prince, yeah, Prince, Prince Nazim, he, he, he used to have some yeah, really yeah. cool ones. Um, you know what, I used to just love the Floyd Mayweather ones, man. He used to walk around with like Triple H and he used to have uh, 50 Cent with him, you know, just I like that whole entourage feeling and, and the way he dresses up. Uh, it was Mayweather for me. I feel like we're manifesting um, a, a 50 Cent walkout with oh, you. Oh, we though. need like to we, do it, man. He's, he's, he, every we're getting, time yeah, out, we're getting, we're getting a couple of his songs. Yeah. So hopefully it happens. Yeah, and it's bumping too. Like it, it, yeah. it gets a crowd going. And oh, for sure. It gets me going too. Yeah, for so. sure. <laughs> yeah, not that I'm fighting or anything, but we, um, yeah, I, look, I, I absolutely love it. Um, do you, what were your what was your father's experiences um, with the walkouts? Yeah. He had this one Russian pop star, like the Britney Spears of Russia. Yeah, <laughs> he used to get her to sing him in <laughs> in the ring. <laughs> what was um What was her song? Uh, his song. Yeah, he had his own little song. So she wrote she wrote the song. I for think it. so. Yeah. How good is that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you remember about his um about his Vegas fight? I don't remember too much. I remember just the, the big one, the, the Zab Judah. That was a big one. Yeah, right? I just remember that one. That yeah. was crazy. I know even now when you, when, whenever we head across to the States and you talk about Tim Zhu and you yeah. talk about Kostya, they always talk about yeah, the, everyone the remembers Zab that fight. one. Everyone, everyone remembers, remembers that it. one, yeah. So and now everyone's going to remember this one. The, the Thurman the fight? Com the homecoming. Yes. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I think you're going you're gonna to make a, a big splash in Vegas and I think it's exciting um, for everyone. So. 100%. You, you've already tipped. You've already tipped how this fight goes. Too. <laughs> what are we saying? Under six. Under six. <laughs> I'll be ready to to put on a show. No, I, I'm looking forward to it. Let's do um. Let's do a little bit of uh, rate it or hate it. All right. Mm. Um. Let's go. Amazon Prime. Rolly v Pitbull. Rate it or hate it. Um. I'll rate it. How do you reckon it goes? Cruise. Cruise. Yeah, I reckon Cruz. I reckon he's a little pit bull. <laughs> he's a little pit bull. <laughs> exactly. I, I yeah. agree with you, 100. Yeah. percent He'll make a he'll make a tough fight for for Rolly. Yeah, Rolly's a champ though, right? Yeah. He's putting it all on the line. Yeah, yeah. I do like that. I th I think it's a great fight. Yeah, I, I think it's a though. great fight. Yeah. Because um, Rolly can bang as well, so it'll be interesting. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So we've got the pit bull. Let's go. Um, oh, the the Ortiz call out of Tim Zhu. Yeah. Did you get to see that? Oh, I got it sent after. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, Raider to Hater? Yeah. I rate it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fireworks. Line them up. Yeah, yeah, that's fireworks. <laughs> that fight. I thought it would be cool. <laughs> yeah, oh, 100%. I, yeah. I, I think it would be a great fight. Yeah. He hasn't been very active, though, has he? Yeah. As they all are. Yeah. None of them are active. I think that's the thing that, that's, that's great about you, is that you're going you're gonna to shock the states exactly. by how active you are. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Especially if you finish this one under six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be calling them straight one. away. Yeah, What's exactly. next? What's yeah, next? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> in a way versus Neary for Sam Goodman. Naoya in a way. Yeah, I write that. Yeah. I write that. Yeah. How do you reckon um who do you, who do you reckon gets that one? In no way. Yeah. He's an animal. He's unbelievable. Yeah, he? he's he's for me I reckon he's like up there pound for pound number one, two, three. What do you like about him? <sighs> Everything. His IQ, his his relentlessness, his power, his speed, IQ, everything. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Um, we've got Lara v Zarafa world title shot. You've already commented on that one. Yeah, I, I, look, I rate it. I, yeah. I, I, I guess I think it's good that Aussies having a crack uh, at a world title, you know. Uh, we've got to support our Aussies. And, um, we are doing all right at the moment, aren't we? We've yeah, got a I think, few world I think, it's, I think it's good. Yeah, I think, I think it's good. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Cambosis Loma. That's a tough fight. I rate that fight. Um, Lama's an all-time great. Uh, George is going for his next world title, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a crack on. Yeah, I agree with that. At least it's in Australia. Yeah. A little bit, little bit of an advantage yeah. there too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on your undercard, Fandora versus Boachuk? Yeah, I haven't really seen the other bloke. Yeah. Bokachuk. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen him, but I saw his record. He's like... One loss and everything else by knockouts. Yeah. So again, if he clips Fondora, then see you later. Well, Mendoza got him, didn't he? Exactly. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. What are your What are your thoughts on Fondora at the moment? Very awkward. It's tough. Because um, they're now fighting for the WBC title. Again, all politics, isn't it? Yeah. We should have been fighting for yeah. the WBC. Absolutely. I should have had the WBC strap. But it, look, it is what it is. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Belts Belts don't define me. Yeah. Or, who I am, it's it's the people that I fight on the journey. And they're just holding that belt for you till you're ready <laughs> exactly. for it, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I, I think that's a I think that's a great fight. I'm glad Fundora's back. I'm yeah. glad the I'm glad the WBC C belt is back in, yeah, for in sure. contention well, too. I think all the belts should be following now. Well, what, that's it, there's not many left. I, it's WBA. IBF's open up, it's only the WBA yeah, that's yeah. left. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And you can the, still fight the division the division's open now, you know? Yeah, Charlo won't fight, trust me, he's gone. What are your thoughts on Charlo? He's gone, see you later, man. Done. I think he's going to retire. That's my, my thoughts, opinion. There's a, lot of, um, there's a lot of good fighters around your division, though, yeah. too, isn't there? We've talked about Spence. Yeah. We've talked about Crawford. Yeah. Um, and then there's opportunities moving up, even, if you were to... Like, I mean, I watched um, Jaime Monguia. Yeah, Monguia yeah. Last, uh, yes, yeah, uh, yeah. on the weekend, sorry. Um, Good fight. Yeah. He's moved up to super middleweight now. Um, but you've got guys like Jamal Charlo yeah. at middleweight. There's Plant. There's, there's, there's other opportunities. Is there any other guys that you like in the weight divisions around you? Um, I think the middleweight division's a bit um, boring. I think 154, 147 people are coming up, all of that. That's pretty interesting. One, uh, 160 is a bit dead. 168, I think, is, is interesting as well. Um, yeah, 168's got, got big names, uh, 160, like I can't really, I don't really see any, any, any big names in, at 160, but yeah, one, I think 154 for me, like the Crawfords, the, the Errol Spencers, the Danny Garcias, you know, like, good fight. yeah, the, the Ortizers, you know, it's, it's, it's more stacked. Yeah, absolutely, I agree with you on that one. All right, Timmy, let's go through your top five fighters of all time. I yeah. know you've, you've followed the sport for a long time. Obviously, it's a family business. Yeah. You've been lucky enough to see a lot of guys um, over the years. Who's your top five fighters? Yeah. Um, Costa Zoo. Um. <laughs> I love that one, too. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather. Manny Pacquiao. Mike Tyson. 
and Roy Jones. What a good combination. What a, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. I, I don't think many people could fault you on, the, on that top five. I mean, especially even even though your, your, your father's at the top, yeah. you know, fair enough, there's some bias there, but I put him in my top five 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Like the excitement of him. What, oh, 100%. What would you like about, about your father's style Dad, fighting? He's, people used to drop and I'll get up. <laughs> <laughs> but for such a small guy too though to pack yeah. that power like oh man so unassuming oh 100 i remember i sparred him once and yeah i remember i was like man this, this bloke's power is like something else and he was just touching me anyway when i was a little kid yeah yeah i remember but it was yeah i remember it was devastating so who what happens now if you have a little spar well, against me and my dad? Yeah. Oh, he, everyone knows now. He still looks good. Nah, nah, come on, man. He, he still looks good. <laughs> yeah, of course he looks good, but, you know, I got him. I got, three, him, co I got him covered now. <laughs> Three-way sparring session, you, Nikita, and Kostya. Oh, damn, man. That's pay-per-view right there. <laughs> <laughs> you, and the, you and Nikita have been sparring a little bit recently, haven't you? Oh, we did one week. One week. And then we got banned. A banned again? Yeah, banned. Why, how do you just keep getting banned every time? Because we go and, a bit too hard. And who makes the Grandpa, call? Grandpa, he's like, Grandpa. that's it. He goes, that's it. No more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> go, all right, all right. Who pushes the boundaries? Because I feel like Nikita's a little bit of a... Honestly, the first time we... The, first, the last time like we had that week, I got in the ring and Nikita belted the fuck out of me. Man, I was, my body was sore. I was just starting sparring. I did a few rounds before that with, with a couple other guys, but when I got in there, man, that bloke hits hard. Yeah. yeah. And then the sparring after, I got him. I was like, well, you know what? Stuff this little kid. Oh, I got, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get him back. So I got him. And then that's when Grandpa said, no game more. over. Yeah, no that's more. it. No more between you two. So he's a one apiece then? Yeah, we've got one all. The, it's, it's, the, the trilogy, yeah. the trilogy is no, coming. No, no, no trilogy. <laughs> so going back to your top five, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. What do you I, like about him? You actually got to meet him. Oh, yeah. Uh, IQ and defense. Tyson? Mm. Ferociousness. Love that. And who else do you have in there? Roy Jones. Roy Jones. Yeah. Speed, the, the flashiness. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Look, we'll... We've got to get out of here. Yeah. We've been lucky enough to have you on um, leading into what's going to be a huge fight prep for Keith Thurman. Um, what are you looking forward to most about this build-up? Our first time fighting in Vegas. Mm. What are you looking forward to? Uh, Press conference in LA. The difference. Rolling into, the difference. into Vegas. From difference from going national to global. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, absolutely. And what yeah. do you think that they'll like about you over, over in the States? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I don't care if they do or if they don't. You know, that's the thing. We're going there to win. <laughs> yeah, We're exactly. going there to take over. Take over. I love that. <laughs> well, look, Timmy, thanks for, thanks for jumping on the potty before you take off. I know we've got a big fight camp ahead. Yeah. We've got a huge fight coming. Won't be the last time that you're on here, but yeah. <laughs> um, we're, we're looking forward to what lies ahead in the next few weeks. So, 100%. Um, thank you. Make sure that you keep tuning in to the No Limit Boxing podcast. Thanks for giving us the time today. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment and share on whatever platform you're watching this on. Uh, this is the No Limit Boxing Podcast and we'll be back again with more of our great stars. Cheers.